Hi to all beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Today is a very memorable day for us because we have reached 100 subscribers. So basically a big shout out and big thank you to you guys. So later on today I will be doing a live streaming and thanking you guys. So without further ado, let's introduce today's video. I'm gonna do an IC standby. So this is a pretty fun and little deck once and it ends pretty fast. So if you like this video, remember to give a like, leave your comments down below for other decks that you would like to see and subscribe for more videos and follow me on my Facebook to have more uploads and updates. So today we are going to show you the cards first. So basically this is the medium of the ice bearer. This is a free card from our previous event. So pretty much you guys have at least two of it. So what does this guy do? If your opponent controls four or more cards than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. And once it's on the field, each turn your opponent can only activate one spell or trap card. So the effect is pretty cool, but this special summon effect is not that easy because we are trying to get as much cards to our hand to OTK your opponent quickly. So on the next uh, Ice Bearer is the General, which this guy allows you to, after the end phrase, I can select one Ice Bearer monster in my graveyard and special summon it, which is pretty awesome because you have the this strategies of the Ice Bearer to send one ice bearer monster from a hand to your graveyard and draw one card so you can basically dispose away medium of the ice bearer and summon in on next turn or pretty much you can dispose any any ice bearer that you want to be in the acquisition for next turn so next we have the princess of the ice bearer so only running two of this this is a pretty good card as well because once per turn i can if I control another Ice Bearer beside the Princess Ice Bearer, I can review any number of my Ice Bearer cards on my hand to return the amount of set, spell or trap card in your opponent's control. So, but please do note that the set, spell and trap can be activated. So, well, at least it's pretty good because you can pretty much remove all the set spell before you do the OTK attack. So strategies as I went through earlier. Samurai of the Ice Bearer is also another drawing mechanism. So when this guy is in the attack position and change to defense position, destroy this card and draw one card. So pretty much is pretty good against Econ or Windstorm of course of Anubis. So you can keep on drawing the cards. And next we have another general, Granite. So this is the main core of the deck to OTK because if during the main, main phrase, I can normal summon another one Ice Bearer monster in addition to your normal summon or set. So pretty much I can have three monsters on my hand if this guy is summoned first as it can be shown in the replay. So we have two of these, Sacred Spirit of the Ice Bearer. A lot of people is not very commonly known of this card but this card is pretty good if it's, it's on the field and with some ice bearers monster along him because at the end phrase I can select one monster my opponent control and return it to his hand instead but remember that if this is the only guy left in the field in the end phrase you can only return this card to your hand and we have this Defender of the Ice Bearer, so when this card is destroyed by battle, I can draw one card. So more drawing mechanism. I have three Moron of Greed. So pretty much I think most of you guys have maybe one or two. You can sub this card with Into the Void or just some drawing mechanism because this deck is about drawing this normal spell card, Magic Triangle of the Ice Bearer. So what this card do is that I can review three Ice Bearer monster with different names to select one card your opponent controls. And I can destroy the opponent card and special summon any one Ice Bearer monster from hand. So I can review three different 
Ice Barrel in my hand to destroy any monster or spell or trap that my opponent control and then can special summon one Ice Barrel on top of my normal summon. So without further ado, let's show you the replay. This deck is pretty OP and OTK potential. So it's pretty fast, which I like because which means the more fights you play, the more wins you get, the more rewards you will get from PvP. So if you reach king of games, you have nothing much to do, pretty much you can use this deck just for fun. Or just use the previous meal deck that I used to have more fun and more tilt. So I use a dual standby so I can draw more cards on my hand. So at this point of stage, I don't have any spell card which is unlucky. So I just set one Defender of the Ice Bearer. So hopefully when he attack me, I can draw more cards. I have no idea what is this guy playing because honestly no one plays Shard of Grid as of now. So at this point of time, it is my turn 3, I use the Magic Triangle. So I review 3 of his on my card and I just auto destroy his monster with no set spell or trap, I would just do an OTK. It's pretty easy in this uh, illustration video. So I hope you enjoy this deck and give a like and subscribe for my channel for more videos. And I hope you guys having good farm lucks against Yami Merrick because your boy here is not having a good time against Yami Merrick. It's not been good to me because I'm sharing too much farming videos. So be sure to check my farming videos and farm the end of him. So at this stage, pretty much <coughs> Yami Yugi nowadays, if you face them, they are playing the Temple of the Mine, which is another burn tier deck that I have made. So be sure to check that video out. So I would like to destroy them ASAP. So I use Morale of Greed. Return 2 of my water monster and draw 3 cards and I got lucky to get the magic triangle. Review 3 cards and I destroy the set spell because I know this guy is just gonna be that spawn monster which is pretty useless so I want to destroy his back row. So I use the general granite effects to normal summon another monster which is dance princess of the ice bearer. And I can do another summon. I dispose one card to draw another card and another easy OTK. This deck you can use it in PvP when you are busy because honestly that's not much of a thinking to do. It's just about luck if they have three set spell or trap card. So you have to decide which to attack and use probably use the princess effect to return them back to the owner hand. So in our Yami Yugi, basically you are facing a lot of Yami Yugi and Viva nowadays. So to ninja players, I believe we should avoid playing PvP using ninja as of now. So tempo of the my eye as expected, but it's quite surprised he just set one card because it's pretty easy for me, although I have a bad draw. So I just do a set because I know I'm not rushing things now and he won't attack my face down card so I can do some funky ways of playing later. So I got more of greed. I just throw back two of my water cards to the deck, draw three and I have another one so it's just about milling out my tri magical triangle. And now I got it. So magic triangle of the ice bearer. Remember to destroy this fear spell because it's just gonna be 1000 attack if you attack him. So remember to always do that. And I flip up my dance princess because I set it on the previous turn. Two and I show one card I review to them, return to this. And I use the general granite effect to Special summon a card and it's a simple OTK. This is a very little deck, so I hope you guys having good fun about this deck. There is still more potential and combo and mechanism of this deck. 
that I um, was not able to show you. So just play around with it and it's, it's pretty fun honestly. So on the next game against a Bandicoot, going on first turn basically, you would just like to set a monster or just to make any move. So I having a pretty rough hand, but I have two of this magic triangle, so I'm pretty happy. So I just leave it, I end my turn, saying what cards did he play and it's gonna be Phoenix. I think Phoenix is getting more viable now because of so much of burn decks. So pretty much you want to destroy the back row. So I used more of greed to just meet up and you know try to get more cards. And I use magic triangle, show him three card, target one set card, and it's an enemy controller. And I use the magic triangle again and destroy the monster. But he used some scolding to disactivate my magical triangle. Please do keep in mind that if <coughs> this spell card is the effect is degrade neglected which means you did not destroy a, the card that you choose. There won't be any special effect by summoning, so be sure of that. So he's just surrender because he knows that in next turn he can't win. And the next game we're gonna show you, I think it's against a ninja deck. And against a team, I'm not sure whether it's teamy. So it's against a ninja brother again, I'm going first, so against nin potential ninja brother, you would like to set a card at least, because they always have potential to OTK. As you can see here, 3 star demotion. And I just use more of greed to mill up 2 monster to get 3 monster on my hand, hopefully I can have good draw, which I did. And I magic triangle of ice bearer. Show him three card. This is the mistake he did. For ninja players, if people is trying to destroy your trap card, don't activate it. Just let it be because this card is gonna be destroyed. So automatically his ice barrel is gone. See that? So this is one lesson for him to learn the hard way for the OTK. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, remember to give a like, subscribe for more and I should be live streaming in the hour term so be sure to check that out as well and once again thank you, thank you guys for the support as we have reached 100 subscribers. Be sure to stay tuned for more as I will be holding more events and more interaction once we grow our community to be a decent size. So till later, have a good day, good afternoon, good night and signing off, peace.